I'm Michael Ansara, and uh, I'm playing a role as an unpaid, unofficial advisor to Alan and the campaign, particularly working on the field campaign, because Alan had a very unique and particular vision for this campaign. It was, BD, it was to be a citizen's campaign, citizens funded, citizens organized, grassroots, really using all the experience that Alan has had and so many of us have had trying to do organizing, build social movements, do community organizing. I've known Alan for a long time. I really have known of Alan, it seems like forever, since I first heard about those two young guys who had come up with the brilliant notion of City Year and brought it into existence. I was lucky my brother was on their board and used to come back and always tell me about how Alan and Michael were just everything that uh, he wanted to see his sons turn into. So I, I knew of him for a very long time, and then in typical Alan fashion, a number of years ago, he was thinking over a number of uh, questions about how the service movement could be more political. And so in the way that Alan approaches everything, he went around to identify as many people as he could to have that conversation with, and I was lucky enough to be one of them and found myself talking to an incredibly thoughtful uh, person who really could listen and at the same time had very creative and innovative ideas. So when Alan said he wanted to run for Senate and he wanted to build a citizen's campaign, I immediately offered my services. I've done a lot of organizing over my years and have been trying to help the campaign to really, without much money and with very little time, build a citizen-to-citizen -citizen organization, figuring out how to train volunteers and have them reach out to the people that they know to spread Alan's message and his word. And here we are two weeks before the election, and I'm astounded. I'm absolutely astounded by the fact that 75% of likely voters don't know who they're going to vote for. Undecided wins overwhelmingly today. So we have two weeks to work for Alan. And, you know, for me, I suppose almost anybody that Massachusetts sends to the Senate, at least any Democrat in Massachusetts sends to the Senate, will probably vote more or less the same way. But I'm looking for somebody to be a leader, not just to be a reliable another vote, but to be someone with vision and absolute integrity, somebody who isn't wound up in the pack money lobbyist cycle that seems to destroy so much in Washington. I'm looking for a new generation of leaders, someone who brings new experiences, new ideas, new skills, and who is a leader of vision and integrity, and I know that's Alan. And I know that if in these last two weeks we can reach enough voters and tell them who Alan is, what his positions are, what his values are, what his life story is, we'll find enough voters to elect him. So we're in a race, and what I hope more than anything else is that people will volunteer, that they will be willing to do phone parties in their houses, call their friends, call their neighbors. They'll be willing to send emails to everybody that they know, that they'll knock on doors. And over these last two weeks, we'll be able to spread the word enough that we can be really proud and excited about the next senator from Massachusetts, Alan Casey.